Townsend, when you think of Mario Andretti and the fake in 1993, 25 years ago was his last win, and the look at his age today, you think that makes it pretty remarkable? Uh, no question. Mario's career has been remarkable, but the fact that he, I believe, could still get in one of these cars 25 years later and contend is what I think is really remarkable about Mario. Coolest guy uh, in racing, and the fact that he's still accessible to the fans. He's at all our events. He still has every ounce of passion that he did throughout his career, uh, I think is remarkable. You talk about him still seeming like he could, he could actually compete. I know when I've talked to him many times before, if he's given somebody a ride in the fastest two-seater, um, he puts on his gloves and his helmet as if he actually is going to race inside his heart you're right he feels it oh it's game time when he gets in that two-seater and one of my favorite memories of him driving the two-seater was at the old chicago motor speedway in cicero little one mile oval where mario drove uh the old honda two-seater which had a full-blown champ car engine over 800 horsepower and he went so fast that his lap time was quicker than about half the field's race lap times from the race. And I believe at that point, Honda said, we got to slow this guy down. You're pushing too hard. How would you classify or put his personality as far as intense, calm, reserved, laid back? Um... The time that I spent around Mario, I, I feel like um, there's a there's a wisdom and a, an air of been there, done that, without him ever having to say that. And you just know you're in the presence of, of someone who uh, throughout a, an amazing career has just done it all and seen it all. And um, there's a respect, especially as a racing driver, uh, there's, there's definitely an unspoken uh, respect and humbleness that I have knowing that this guy's seen everything. He walks around with that same smile he had a zillion years ago. And fans electrify. You smiled as soon as I said it. It's something special he walks with, isn't it? His smile, there's smile and then there's a little swagger that comes with Mario that is, is unique in the paddock. And, uh, uh, you know, the, the hair, the smile, but it's genuine. I mean, he, listen, he's done everything in this sport. He doesn't need to be at these races, but you can tell he loves being there. And the fact that the fans get to enjoy Mario long after he stopped racing and winning, uh, I think is what makes him really special and frankly, very cool. He's the coolest, what, how old is he, 72? Something like that. He's the coolest 72 year old I know. If you had to look back at either being there, reading about it, highlights, internet, social media, photos you've seen in the past, is there, is there something that just sticks out in your mind of something that he did you're like man that's Mario Andretti I think you know there's several things that I think about in terms of his career I, I have you know the visuals of where he started on the short tracks in Nazareth in the dirt um, I mean you look at his his physical size he's a small guy and knowing that he cut his teeth in American oval racing um, as a foreigner uh, wouldn't have been easy and I think that that really probably galvanized his determination to be successful in the sport so that that because of the way that he came up he came up through a very dangerous era as well where the speeds were radically improving year over year that by the time he got back to Europe to race in Formula One uh, you know with his world championship I think frankly that the challenge was was he'd already met and, 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 and um, uh, exceeded the challenge, if you will, because of where he cut his teeth and the way that he come up and, and all the races that he did back in the day and the travel. You know, these days, I bitch and moan about the fact that I got to fly five hours from LA to, you know, Florida for a race. But back in the day, Mario was crossing the pond um, and constantly on an airplane and at, at the racetrack, uh, a lot more than any of the guys do today.